Sound check. One, two, three. Voice change. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to unbox, set up, and test the DM800 condenser microphone and V8 sound card. Let's start with the unboxing. My husband got this from Amazon as an anniversary gift. I will leave the product description down below if you are in search of the same product or if you are interested in getting one for yourself. And here is the closer look of all the items inside the box. First, we have the pop filter. We also have the shock mount. The BM800 condenser microphone including the cord. The anti-wind foam. The adjustable scissor arm stand with clamp. The V8 sound card two audio cables, and one power or charging cable. Let's now proceed with the setup. By the way, the brand name of the product is Alpow, A-L-P-O-W-L. -L. So this product comes with the user manual for the live sound card. Unfortunately, it does not come with the user instruction or manual on how to set up the stand and the microphone, but we will try to figure it out ourselves. Let's start connecting the clamp to the side of the table. Next is the adjustable scissor arm stand. It comes with two ends. So there's a straight one and there's a screw type connector at the other end. So you have to make sure you use the straight one and follow the groove. You can use this to secure or lock the arm stand in place. The arm stand can be adjusted up and down or side to side. Next, let's proceed connecting the shock mount. So you just have to twist it around until it is secured. You can use this to adjust your shock mount up and down. And then lock it again. Next, let's proceed with the BM800 condenser microphone. Push it down to your shock mount and make sure that when you do that, look for the label saying BM800 and make sure this is positioned facing towards you. There you go. Yippee! Let's connect the cord for the BM800 microphone. And one tip as well to make sure you position the microphone correctly, the lock should also be facing you. And then our anti-wind foam. Next, let's proceed connecting our pop filter to the arm stand. And you just have to use the screw type lock to secure it in place. There you go. And then this is adjustable and bendable. See? Let's now proceed with the setup of our V8 sound card. And for this setup, we are going to use the instruction that they laid out in the product image. So for today, we are going to set up the BM800 
condenser microphone, and the VA sound card using mobile phone. First, we have the charging port. This is what you're going to use if you are going to charge your sound card. It comes with micro USB to regular USB cable. So you can use um, power bank and laptop or computer to charge the sound card. And it might also work with the regular charger. For live streaming or recording, you can use either Live 1 or Live 2 port. And then you're going to use the cable provided, which is a micro USB. The other end is a 3.5 millimeter jack, which will be connected to your mobile phone. Next is the backing track. If you want to add accompaniment or a background music to your recording or to your live stream, you can connect a gadget or accompaniment instrument. But for this setup, we are going to connect it with a phone or a tablet. Next would be the earphone or the headphone. You can use either of the two to connect your headset or headphones and that's what you're going to use to monitor or hear your voice and your backing track. We also have a dynamic mic port in here. This is what you're going to use if you have the regular dynamic microphone the usual microphone that we use for karaoke. And lastly, we have the condenser mic port. And that's where you're going to connect your BM800 condenser microphone. To turn on the sound card, press the power button for 3 seconds. To turn it off, press 3 seconds again. For this cable, which is the backing track, I connected it to a mobile phone and I'm going to play a music here later. And this one, which is connected to the live one, is going to be connected to my cell phone to record. I am currently filming using my mobile phone. Sound check 1, 2, 3. Using my mobile phone without the BM800 condenser microphone and V8 sound card. Sound check 1, 2, 3. Testing and recording using a mobile phone with BM800 condenser microphone and V8 sound card. Let's try without the pop filter. Sound check 1, 2, 3. Testing and recording using a mobile phone with BM800 condenser microphone and V8 sound card. Now let's test the adjustable knobs and the buttons of our V8 sound card. First, we have the volume. Volume test. Volume test. Volume test. One, two, three. And then we have the echo. Echo down, echo up, and up, and up. Then we have the treble and bass. We also have the record knob. This is what you're going to use to adjust the volume of your voice when recording. Recording, recording, recording. Going down on volume, going down on, going up, going up, going up. We also have a monitor knob. This one is what you're going to use if you want to adjust the level or the volume of what you're hearing in your headphones or in your headset. Sound check. Yeah, that's it. Sound check. 
Then we also have a backing track knob in here. This is where you're going to adjust the volume of your accompaniment or background music. Let's try this using the phone that I connected to our backing track port. Let's try to lower down the volume. See? Go back. Then we have the voiceover button. For other V8 sound card, the label is Dodge. You will use this if you are playing a background music and you want the background music to settle down if you're going to talk. Let's try. Voice over testing over background music. Again, voice over testing over background music. Then we have the MC. 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 Sounds like a rhubarb. And then we have Clark. Clark. And then we have elimination. 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 Wow. Then we have voice change. Voice change? That's so deep. Let's try again another one. Voice change? <laughs> That's so funny. Voice change? I sound like a chipmunk. And then the reverb delay. In nature. Let's see what happened on reverb delay. In major. I can understand it. In major. Oh, it's making your voice longer. Oh, I still have the crack. Crack. And then let's try the other sound effects in here. First, we have cheer. It says din. And then we have a gunshot. I don't know what 9277 means, but let's try. Yell. Kiss. Laughter. Applause. Din din. Ding, ding, ding. Giggle. <laughs> Slush. Ah! <laughs> PUVG. I'm not sure what this is, but let's try. So that's are the functions and the sound effects of our V8 sound card. If you like this video, consider subscribing to my channel and hit the notification bell for my future uploads. Let me give you additional information about the V8 sound card. If you're experiencing a low volume or low quality of sound, it's an indication that the power is insufficient. So it's time to charge. Another one is to ensure that all interfaces are fully plugged in. If you are using mobile phones for recording and for your backing track, and if you have a phone case, you can remove it to ensure that all interfaces are fully plugged in. Aside from that, it is not recommended to charge while using the V8 sound card. It's because the current may cause interference. So, it's time for me to give my initial feedback. Setting up the BM800 condenser microphone generally is doable. Despite not having a specific manual for that, there's a lot of tutorials that you can find on YouTube. For the price of $99,
I compared it to other products or other sellers and it's generally the average price here in Canada. In terms of delivery, the product was ordered on Wednesday of the week and upon checkout, the estimated day of delivery is Tuesday the following week. But it actually arrived two days later after it was ordered. As for the initial testing, the interfaces, the cables, the microphones, the buttons, the effects, the features, they all worked. The only thing that did not work initially was the power button only because I did not charge the V8 sound card. The product does not come with initial charge when you receive it. That's all for today. I hope you find this video helpful and enjoyable. I will provide another update when I test the product using laptop and computer. So please watch out for that. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Bye! See you again next time!